Hello everybody and welcome back to the next part in XCOM Amy Unknown. Only thing that's changed since the previous episode is I did edit our two teammates that got promoted in the, in the first mission. Welcome Randy Gall, which is me. Always a favorite sniper, sniper or some kind of sneaky class. So I have outfitted myself as this. And then... Zach Miller, friend of mine that I that I that I have worked with and I've been friends with a really long time. He's gonna be one of our. He's gonna be our newly support as we get more people in here and they get they advance to squatty. I will change their names and their looks. Hyper team is going to be dressed in black is going to be red and so on and so forth when we get other classes because I know there's an assault there's a support there's a sniper and there's one other inside psyops or something but last mission we started research on alien material and in engineering we haven't done anything You know, let's go ahead and buy, manufacture a med kit, take with us. Do one for now. And let's get us a satellite. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Okay, maybe not. We got the hangar, we got few ships we got two ships they look like they're ready here and you know what just go to mission control and see what our next objective is. and for activity <laughs> alien abductions reported you abduction fight. commander we've picked up multiple requests for assistance abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe and here is our first of many choices that we have to make through the whole entire game. Every time we get a mission, we'll have to pick from three different locations. If we pick a location by difficulty and reward. The France gives the moderate difficulty that goes for engineers. Mexico, Mexico City gives a is an easy mission. One or two. 200 credits and then another moderate difficulty in Argent Nigeria. Why was I thinking Argentina? I have no idea. They'll give us four scientists, you know. But it's really early and we've already lost one person. Let's just go with an easy one. From what I understand that whatever mission we pick go to the other locations will suffer a panic penalty and once they hit maximum panic, panic penalty something bad happens which I'm not aware of at the moment let's just go off here now we get to go to our our squad setup we've got to take we can only take four right now. We have to do. We have to go get some training in the officer training school to increase their squad size. You want to edit him instead of taking him with a frag grenade. We will put the med kit on him. Therefore, he'll be able to run over and heal anybody else they get. And off. Visual on the mission site, setting down. Well, all right, get it salt. Operation Seer in Mexico for Seer this mission. Guard. We picked up a local <laughs> broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, 
standard mission like the previous one. We'll get sweep the area and detect, identify all threats, and then eliminate. Should be fairly easy, but you never know. Too early in, in the game. Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Alrighty then. Well, start her off. I'm going to move our sniper Look up sharp. this trailer. Find them off in the bat, and they're taking off. Eagle of Try to move, keep our sniper in this trailer because it has a. I have ability to move up to it and still be able to see. It. I got no targets. And an Overwatch. Oh, I can. Okay. Let's bunker down. Let's take Miller. Move Miller up to here. Put him in Overwatch. At Tom. Move him right next to Miller. Throw him in Overwatch. And then James Green. Oh, I'm Rick James. We're gonna move him right over here because there is an alien there at the end. We'll also put him in open. Miss the target. Oh, unlucky a double miss. That's how kind of for some reason, he's blinking. Whoa. Aha. Good that he missed. Put him in Overwatch. See if Miller can shoot him again. 30%. Oh, you don't have a grenade. Alright, so we'll just go for it. Why not? Ooh, three shots. Nicely done there, Miller. Oh, there's an alien here. Ooh. Three aliens. You know what? No, they told us not to. Oh, that is not good. Okay, never mind. Hopefully, I was going to get lucky. That's not good. 25%. Oh, let's just try. Go figure. Damn it. No luck there. How about Mr. Green? Green has no target. Mr. Green, Mr. Green. You know what? Let's throw keep him in overwatch. The only bother will come. What in the world is he doing? Like he's giving him a buck. Aha. Right. Uh -huh. Miss for the aliens. Take fire over here. Another miss for the aliens. Fuel's Three out of four. Go. He's gonna go into Overwatch. My character could not. Just move him up here. And let's just bunker him down. Give him a little more deep. You take him out. 31%. Let's go and try it. X -ray neutral. Shot him through the pallet. Nice shot. Deck up. I don't know if that will affect. That will. I won't be able to move this. I don't take. I still can't. Eight of these. 
Ah. I might be able to. Throwing grenade. Stomp. Yeah. None of our teammates are injured. Like he's gonna buff him again. Hopefully your sniper will be able to pick off someone this time. Incoming over here. That's another miss. No, oh, still nothing. Still nothing. That's I can't go into Overwatch. Miller back a little bit. You. Nothing, nothing. Uh, let's go for that guy. And that's another miss. Oh, Move him up here. Throw him in Overwatch. Nice shot there. Nice try there, Miller. Man, these sectoids like the buff buff read. Better go overwatch. Still not. Oh, let's just bunker down. I did not mean for that to happen. Throw him over watch. You have a grenade. Even. Whoa. I whacked that. Throw that grenade. Catch. Do a little damage to him. I still have no target for my sniper. Really in Miller here. There has no target. Artem still has no. Uh, let's just go for it again. Go figure. Damn it! Enemy is still alive. Thank you. Hello, friend. How are you? X-ray down. Oh. Thank God the uh, aliens are having as worse aim as we are. I'm just gonna get there. No point. I thought that would be a good spot for him, but I was wrong. I'm here. Oh no. Miller's out of ammo. What's say? Weapon is out of ammo. Reload. Tack bang. That uses a action point. Damn it. Need a resupply. You got a little bit better. See if you can pick him off. Taking care of mission here. accomplished. Operation Sacred Heat is a success. We didn't lose anybody this time. It's always a good thing though. Back to home base. Back to home base. Back to back to back to back to back to home base. See if anybody else got promotion. 
impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. And we got two promotions. And Tom is now an assault, and James is now a heavy. We got four more sectoid corset corpses and six more weapon frames. That's uh, Operation Sacred Heat Council Transmission. XCOM squad deployed to Mexico has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Mexico. People get grateful room. for your help Commander and hopes that the there will, room. these wards will be of use to the XCOM project. 200 credits. Panic has increased across Africa and panic. We will be in touch, Commander. Yes, Council. And now we've got some events. We 26 more days till we report from the Council, and we've got three more days left on the uh, Commander, should... Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. We can launch. Satellites, you XCOM finance. We get 165 monthly increase. We have a gross monthly increase of 275. Craft maintenance takes a total of 60 credits on us. 44 inside our and one for Sky Ranger, then we take additional maintenance facility fees. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. What? I have no idea. Several Grain members market? of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. I guess the gray market is like a black market where we sell extra stuff and we run low on credits. Keys to satellite deployment. Expanding our satellite coverage is crucial to intercepting alien craft and maintaining the support of the council member nation. One, deploy satellites to gain monthly funding from com council, council nations. Two monitoring countries on the same continent will grant increase the monthly rewards granted by that continent. If every con every country in a continent is monitored by its um, satellite, additional continent specific bonus will be granted. Nothing in life. to report at the moment. Boards are clear. And three, we will need in interceptors deployed to continents in which we will have satellite coverage. Interceptors can be hired and transferred through. Uh, got one available, one already in orbit, out of two. Go to North America. We get one scientist, one engineer every month. Argentina, we get one scientist. Archie in Brazil, we get one scientist per month. Now, Egypt, South Africa, and... Nigeria with one there we get one engine on we've been picking up some odd transmissions lately some nut calling himself commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives where do you have one for Arcano it's well well this side of the kind of had more rain Four countries in the continent. Yeah, there's like three over here and two. We'll throw one over the United States because we'll get 180 per month plus we'll get another scientist engineer. Firm satellite launch. Country, United States, travel time four days, monthly fund increase 108 per month. If launched, we will have satellite coverage over one third of countries in North America. Reward plus one scientist plus one engineer Negative. per month. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. Link required. 
Now let's go over to the hangar and transfer all these guys. From here, you can arrange to have our interceptors transferred to bases throughout the world. By stationing our fleet on various continents, we'll have a much better chance of intercepting new UFO contacts in those areas. So we're going to take three days to transfer our Raven to North America, so we cover. We can also order additional interceptors at our disposal. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Another thing I want to show you is the officer training school. Officer training school allows us to buy like bonuses, upgrades for certain things, like I mentioned earlier, for our squad size. So we can't buy any of these until we have one of our units become rank of sergeant. I figure we have the time. We'd run through these just for a moment and see what we have. 25 credits. We can increase our five side to five for 37. We can get upgraded to additional six, but we have to get first. Oh, this one only needs... uh. Needs a rank of captain. Then we got the new guy. New soldiers are automatically promoted to squatty rank. We have to have someone that's rank of ma major to be able to gain this. We get rapid recovery. Soldiers heal twice. Soldiers heal twice as fast from wounds taken in combat. And for that one, don't die on me. The higher our soldiers rank, soldiers rank, the more likely that they will be critically wounded instead of killed. That's really nice. Bad. Can't get that right now. It would be really nice. We need a colonel with that. Wet work. Plus 25% experience gain from kills. Ooh. Make them level up. Level up faster. That's awesome. And then we got iron will. Soldiers receive a larger will bonus each time they are promoted. Don't really know what will does in this. But as we get further in the game, I'm pretty sure it will explain it. You have two soldiers to promote. Our Tom. Our Tom. The assault class that. serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Yeah, we got our first assault. They get running gun. Running gun allow allows firing or overwatching after dashing on the turn. Running gun is active. Cool, two cool, two turn cooldown. We're going to go ahead and customize him now that he's a squatty, and we're going to name and through Bray, another friend of mine, good co-worker that I used to work with. We're going to make the salt colors I will make them yellow. See what helmets we got. Yeah, we want to change. We're gonna change this armor eco. Left click on here is accept, and right click on here is go to previous menu. So I may happen to do that a lot. It's it's, I, it's really hard to get used to the controls in non-combat areas. Get a uh, hair and helmet. Give him a cool helmet. Give some mark Cool helmets. Ah, we'll give him that. Make him look more of a more badass. And there is our assault class. Welcome to the team, Andrew Frank. And for our next, our next unit, same screen that will be changed. The heavy weapons is... specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Ooh, a heavy, a heavy, a heavy unit with rocket launcher. That's awesome.
fire rocket. Fire rocket using an equipped launcher. This really can't be used after moving nor nor more than once. Per That's not bad. Uh, we're gonna name him Gary. I gotta look up his last name real quick. He's another friend of mine. I actually live with my buddy Gary. He actually used to be in the Marines. Mont. His color is going to be going to change. Yeah, we're going to give him like heavy like explosive protective armor. Now we'll give him the color is that blue or is that purple? Oh no, that's blue. We'll give him the color blue and let's go to helmet. We'll actually give him the goggles with with the headset on there. Looks like he's wearing a bee. There's our heavy class. There we go. So far we've got four official squads to our team. We have 11 people together. we got a bunch of rookies still to take in. And we have four squaddies. We have me as the sniper, Zach Miller as a support, Andrew Frame as an assault, and Gary Monte. Botany as a heavy. Uh, let's go look at our research. We, it looks like we got three days left on our alien material. Go to here. We use one Commander, of these. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. We don't have to. We need to satellite uplink. See what we can build. Build so satellite. We don't have enough engineers. We need ten. More, we need five more engineers to build this. Power generator and. Thermal generator, thermal generator, thermal power generator supply plus 20, but must be built over steam. That's what must be built there. Training this. The lift. I kind of want to save that for somewhere else. The power generator, power generator supply, the power needed to run new facilities, each generator supply plus 6 power. Adjacent bonus plus two power for every adjacent power supply or power generator. Wow. I'm actually going to spend ten here and excavate this, and we'll put our our power generators lined up. Gonna take five days for that. All right. Doesn't look like these two places are going so well. Taking the blue's good and the darker gets the worse. Europe's not good. Sort of the uh, situation. Yeah, France and Nigeria are not looking. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to do is any next mission that we get in Nigeria or France, we're gonna have to take them easily, regardless of difficulty. 
try and get them in the blue clear so that they're so mass panic is not going across the country but alright everybody I'm going to cut this episode here thank you for joining me if you're new so don't forget to hit that subscribe button get get updated and notifications every time I post a new video and I will see you all in the next one have a good one